Let's do an example. We'll find the McLaurin series of e to the x. This is the standard function whose McLaurin series is easiest to find because every order derivative is the same. The first derivative is still e to the x. The second derivative is still e to the x and so on. So when we take the nth order derivative and plug in zero, it doesn't matter what n is, we always get one. So this is the sum from zero to infinity of one over n factorial times x to the n. One over zero factorial is one. X to the zero is one. So we have a constant term. Then one factorial is one. So we don't need to write in that division. But now one over two factorial x squared plus one over three factorial x cubed. And so on unto infinity. This is the Taylor series. It converges everywhere. We might as well show that, or this will be a pretty brief video. We'll use the ratio test. Here's a sub n plus one over a sub n. We all multiply top and bottom by the reciprocal of this thing. Um, it's obviously a bit of a error there. So this is n factorial over n plus one factorial. It's the limit as n goes to infinity of x times one over n plus one. That's how these factorial was cancel. And for any fixed x, even if x is a large number, you have a fixed constant times something that's going to zero. This limit is always less than one. So whatever X is, this series converges. We haven't shown that this series always equals E to the X. That is in fact true. But at the moment, all we can say is that e to the x gives us this as its McLaurin series.